Today's challenge is to create a thousand render-friendly procedural ornaments, starting with a simple play. We only need three nodes to set up a polar coordinate system and generate an infinite number of intricate radial shapes, all of this using a simple shader setup. Here in the shading workspace, the aim is to convert the default Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates, so go ahead and add a texture coordinate node, a separate XYZ node, a vector math node with its operation set to length, and finally a math node which we duplicate twice. Set the operation of the first math node to arctan2, the second one to compare, and the third one to greater than. Notice that we're only using the X and Y sockets because our canvas object lies on the XY plane. The arctan2 node calculates the inverse tangent of the X and Y input values, which is equivalent to the angular component of a polar coordinate system. The vector math node calculates the length of a vector pointing from the center of our object to the XY coordinates. This length is equivalent to the radial component of a polar coordinate system. The compare node compares its two input values and returns true if the difference between the two inputs is less than the epsilon value. We now get to the interesting part where we can generate different shapes using our polar coordinates. A generic setup for a flower-like shape requires three math nodes. Set the operation of the first one to multiply, the second one to cosine, or any other of the trigonometry functions, and the third one to multiply add. The multiply node allows us to set the number of petals, while the trigonometry node determines the overall shape of the petals. Finally, the multiply add node lets us set the size of the petals. Now that we have a nice shape, let's make things more exciting by cutting out the shape and adding curvature to it. But before we do that, change the operation of the compare node to subtract and set the threshold of the greater than node to zero. Then go ahead and add a bump node. This bump node will give curvature to the shape, while the greater than node, when connected to the alpha socket, will cut away the outer part of the shape. If the cutout effect is not happening on your computer, it's probably because you're using Eevee as the render engine. To fix this, all you need to do is go to the layout workspace and under material settings, select alpha clip for the blend mode and the shadow mode. Now that we have a cutout shape with curvature, let's make it even more interesting by using one of the most underrated nodes in Blender. Say hello to my little friend, the float curve node. Using this node, we can make the ornament way more interesting. Go ahead and give it a try. Want to learn more about procedural textures? Click here for another video. As for this one, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.